Hello and welcome to what will be the last session for quite some time with me, certainly Kerry. Um, however, I wanted to give you a Christmas offering before uh, going into hibernation for a few months and that is the moon salutation. Now the moon salutation is not as um, well known in the, in the yoga world but personally it's one of my favourites and the reason being is because it activates the, nerve, uh, the parasympathetic nervous system, which helps you relax. It's almost like giving your body a stroke. Um, that's the kind of effect it has on you. But, but that being said, um, you might be led to believe that it's not a very strong practice, but it really is, okay? Now I'm gonna run this with two variations. The first variations are for people who do have restrictions in the hips and the knees and then take you to the next stage. And we're gonna practice it, it amounts to about four times, I think. And we're gonna keep with the two variations running through. So we get to do the whole lot. Those that want to stay at stage one, will just repeat that and won't go to the next stage up. If that's clear, I hope so. I hope it will make sense as we progress. Okay, so if you grab onto your, or grab your mat, and then come to stand at the front of it like this. Um, as if you're going into sun salutation, in fact. <clears throat> so if you're in Tadasana, your feet are either together or hip width apart. And then just take a moment to distribute the weight between the walls of the feet and the heels until you feel that the weight is um, evenly distributed. Then think about pulling up through the arches, draw the tummy muscles up, allow the back, to, the lower back to relax down. Relax the shoulders down and lengthen the back of the neck. Take a deep breath in and exhale, hands to prayer. Inhale the arms up into a back bend, dropping that tailbone down to protect the back, and then exhale the hands back to prayer. Inhale, one arm behind, the other arm up. Exhale, over to the side, looking up behind the raised arm, Inhale the raised arm down, take that behind the back, raise the other arm up and exhale over to the side, looking behind that raised arm. Inhale upright, and then you're going to step wide into what would be a five pointed star, but we're going to go into the heart three times. <sighs> Now move into the five-pointed star. Adjust one of your feet. In this case, it's my right foot. If you're reflecting me, it will be the other. Okay, make sure that that heel would fit into the arch of that foot if you were to draw it straight back. And then rib extend over that leading leg to then take that um, arm down, tuck the chin in and look up to the raised arm, turning that palm to face towards the screen so that you can see the thumb. Feel the stretch on that side of the body. Deep breath. And then you're gonna take that raised arm over and push the back heel back to enable your hips to rotate in the direction of the leading leg. In this case, that's my right foot. And then you're gonna bring your hands to prayer position to the heart center. And you're focusing now on lengthening your back, squaring the hips, squaring the shoulders, making them as parallel to the floor as possible, and lengthening the back from the tailbone. Imagine a cord lifting from the crown of your head. And then you're going to inhale up. Once you're raised as far as you can, then turn both feet move 45 degrees. And then you're going to exhale, sinking into a, a variation of the goddess. Deep squat, keeping the back as straight as possible. Inhale up. Now adjust this foot, which becomes the back foot, to allow these hips to move into the direction of this leading leg. Now my left leg, hands to the heart, and bow down over that leg and breathe. Again, focus on, focusing on a straight back. So you're lengthening from the tailbone and imagine a cord, um, cord lifting, pulling you from the crown of your 
your head. Then drop the same arm down to the same leg as you take the other arm up to the sky. Engage with your core and then inhale up. I call this the Egyptian five-pointed star because of the shape of the feet. Keep the feet where they are and you're going to go back in that direction, the same direction you've just come from. So you're going to exhale, rib extend. Then down into Trikonasana. Deep breath. Feel that opening on the side of the body. And then we're going to go for the, the classic style now. So you're going to take this arm over, bring the hands to the floor, and you're going to fold over this leading leg as much as you can. If you need to bend this leg, that's absolutely fine. This is all about the back releasing and letting go in the shoulders and the neck. Deep breath. So of course, if you're going to stay at the first variation, your hands will be in prayer to the heart and you're working on a flat back. Those of you working on that flat back will then raise up to prepare for the variation goddess. Well, otherwise you're going to sink down into this side squat. Now you have an option as to place the hands on the floor or if you feel very steady, you can bring the hands to prayer. And we're going to move over to that side. So again, depending on how steady you are, you can walk over like this. In fact, let's all do that this time. So we move over with the hands on the floor. You can see if you can take your hands to prayer. Those of you that were working in the Variation Goddess are now moving over to this side also. And then we're all going to fold over what is my right leg if you're reflecting it from there. Those of you with the hands to the heart, bring them to that and work with the flat back. Those of you that are completely folding over the leg, do that. And again, you can work with the bent leg and breathe. Let the head and neck be loose. And then, <clears throat> everyone taking the same hand onto the, the, the foot's ankle, the same foot. And you're going to take the other arm up towards... 12 o'clock or as close to 12 o'clock as you can and try to look up to it, engage to your core and then inhale up and we're going to go into the three hearts again and then jump back to the end of the mat like this, inhale, <sighs> breathe in, step, take the arms together and up and back bend and then exhale hands to the heart. And we're going to do that again. Inhale, arms up and back. Exhale, hands back to the heart. Inhale, one arm behind, the other arm up. Exhale, over to the side. And then inhale, the raised arm down. Take that behind your back. The other arm raises up and over you go to the side. Look behind the arm. You're going to inhale and step into the five-pointed star in three halves. Inhale, Five-pointed star. We're going to go this way now. So taking that foot in such a way that the heel, if it was to move into the centre of uh, this foot here, it, it would fit into the arch. And rib extend on the next exhalation. Take a breath in. And then exhale down again. Tuck the chin in. Look up. Breathe. And we're going to go for the variation, the modified adaptation, which is taking the heart, the hands to the heart, take that back heel, lift it and place it back so that your hips go in line with the leading leg. And you're working on a flat back, lengthening from the base of the spine to the crown of the head. With straight legs as possible. Then inhale the body up. Adjust the feet so that they are both 45 degrees and exhale down into warrior, um, goddess, sorry. And straighten, adjust that back foot, allow the body to bow down to what is now the leading leg. Keep the back as square 
as possible, shoulders and hips parallel to the ground. Dropping the same hand down to the same foot, extending the other arm up. Tuck the chin in and look up. And inhale. And then you're going to reverse it. So those of you just sticking with the, uh, the modification, stick with that as others go for the classic style. You're in the triangle. Look up if you can. And then take that arm over as you fold over that leading leg. You can bend that leg if you wish and breathe. Deep breaths. And then moving into your side squat or preparing for the, the goddess. And then you can either have your hands to the floor or keep the hands in prayer as you move across to the other side. Make sure that this foot stays flat. Hands to the side. With what's now the leading foot, fold over that leg. Place the same hand on the same foot. Take the arm up, the other arm. Look up to it. Deep breaths. And then inhale. Back to your Egyptian five-pointed star. And the three halves. Okay, turning back to the front of the mat, bring the hands together up into the back bend. And then exhale the hands back to the heart. And that's the moon salutation in a nutshell. Although you may find that there are many different variations of the moon salutation. I've seen a different a few different ones. That's the one I've learned. So wish you all a great Christmas and I personally look forward to seeing you in the spring, although the Yoga Light Centre will be starting to run on in January. So wishing you all the best through this time and take care. All right.